And then finally, Howard, I, I, I couldn't let you go without, without talking just a bit about the markets. And also, I'm curious about the SPAC market, since uh, you've spent now a lot of time in that space as well. Just what you're thinking. We've seen a, a bit of a, uh, a repricing this week. I don't know. If some people, I think, are, are starting to get a little bit concerned about what the fall uh, may bring, Delta and the like. And then, of course, what the Fed or may or may not ultimately do. So you've got, look, the, the markets still have that underpinning of the $3.5 trillion. I mean, look, people like us have never heard of these kind of numbers, right? We've now had stimulus packages of $1.2 trillion, $1.9 trillion, $1.5 trillion. I mean, $3.5 trillion hanging out there as a spend for the government is going to keep a bid underneath the stock market. It's just going to keep it there because that is just a massive amount of spending. And so you're going to see the stock market hold in. The, the Delta variant is going to keep rates low. So I, I think we're in for a sort of an odd sort of smooth path over the next couple of months until they sort out this $3.5 trillion. But with that coming, I, I just think that's such a jab of adrenaline that I, I don't think the market can fade off of this. And then real quick, uh, we sort of had a, a bit of a lull in the SPAC market. It seems to be coming back. Well, look, the SPAC markets are just a great, the SPAC business is a great way for young companies to go public. It, it's sort of, it's not like the big time IPO, but it's not venture capital. It's sort of that space right in the middle. And you've got these really cool companies coming out. And if they can find investors in their pipe market, you know, we at Canada Fitzgerald, sure, we believe that a SPAC has to have a pipe, meaning you have to have big institutional investors who validate the price, who come in and say, I agree that this is a good investment at this level. If you put those two things together, you're going to see great young companies emerge from the SPAC business. And a year and two years from today, you're really going to love the companies that came through in this process. It's faster. Uh, and it's certain capital that you raise. It's, it's really, it's a great market, and it's here to stay.